Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Charles. I'll try to make this as quick as I can because I always ramble and blah, blah, blah. So you understand that. I got a shipment from Sweden and uh, took me over a month for this stuff to come in. So this COVID thing is kind of making some problems. Normally I can get this in about a week, maybe two weeks max. max. But uh, anyway, where to start? Uh, let's start with... Uh, You've seen this before in my videos. It's just a different one. Um, I resell stuff just so I can afford shipping or buying more stuff. Um, you've also seen these in my videos too. That's a Swedish Army KLAS entrenching tool. Uh, they're all steel. You can see here they're used, especially this one. It's completely, almost completely stripped of the paint. Um, it's not really that big of a deal because, uh, you know, typically they'll repaint these every year as they're used. And I used to be on a forum, um, I forget which one, but uh, on Tape of Talk, but a uh, guy named uh, Sea Legs. Um, used to paint his every year. These things are pretty tough. Um, this one does have a little band on the tip. Um, it doesn't really affect it too much. Um, it's very difficult to get these. These are official ones. So you can see there you've got the three crowns. Uh, another way that you can figure out whether you have a Miltech one or a real one is, see these rivets are kind of... Um, rounded so the Miltech ones are very flat they're still raised but they're flat looking instead uh, what else we got some more E Johnson or Johnson um, knives um, unfortunately that factory burned down was it two or three months ago so you'll never see them make these again so laminated steel um <clears throat> that's kind of sad but yeah it was just complete destruction and they said they don't want to rebuild it so they're gone um uh, some other interesting stuff these are some older ones i think they stopped making this type of sheath in the 70s maybe the maybe up to the 80s but i think it was in the late 70s but and I forget what it's called but it's a, like a synthetic stuff um, this specific one is I don't even know where that's from exactly it's made in the town of Mora anyway and here's an official army one oh gosh you can't see the three crowns but anyway it's not used, but you can see that some of the, uh, there's some rust down there. I kind of like the profile of this, though. It's kind of hard to see, but you see how it's sharpened on the top side as well. This is a nice quality thing, and it's also in one of those type of, I uh, forget the name of that sheet. Um, now I got a, a new old axe. So this is a Swedish Army one. And I'm not going to pronounce this right, but anyway, in English, we'd say like Seder Banco. Um, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure when this is made. I th I'm guessing probably in the 50s, maybe up to the 60s at the latest, latest but probably even earlier than that. Um, you can see here they got these cleats on there, which are fastened onto the haft. Um, this thing also, most of the Swedish Army ones are like a four inch um, blade. This one is about three, maybe two and a half. It still is long. Um, it's got a straight shaft. And you can see here these cleats are, you know, it's not all the way, these aren't all the way down. 
I haven't tried to strike anything with this. I just got this today. Um, I just don't know how difficult or easy it would be to rehang this um, simply because of these cleats and they are riveted on here in two places. And I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's probably more work than what I want to do. But I'll find out and uh, maybe I'll do a longer video with this plus the other two different Swedish army um, axes that I have. Uh, so here's the last one that I'll show right now. Now this is a bandolier, obviously. Um, what makes this one different is this is an older one. This is going to be from the early 1900s to... I'm, I'm thinking, but I'm guessing uh, probably the up to the mid 20s. Um, what they started to do in the 20s and 30s is they started using um, rivets and to save expense or skill, instead of um, sewing on this, you know, the little uh, guide for the straps. Um, they started just cutting out of the pouch itself two, two uh, slits so you could put this through there. Um, I like the way this is made better. It doesn't compromise that thing, although I don't really remember seeing any torn or whatever, but um, you know, maybe if it rains, some of the water might get in there. It's not a huge deal. I just like the way these look better. Um, the only real rivet they have on here is is just on this hook right there. Um, on the later ones, they're riveted here on the belt. They're riveted on the back bottom of the strap. Um, and you can see here it's got this uh, hook and sewn onto it. Um, this thing's great. Now you can see here, it's hard to see, but you see it's like, it's either dust or kind of might be like moldy uh, or mildew. I'm not sorry about that. My son was uh, talking to me. Um, anyway, uh, it's in great, it's in great condition. Doesn't smell. Um, I previously had one that was this old before and I was able to pretty much clean up this stuff and restore, you know, to like 90%. Uh, there will be a little bit of um, like modeling in, or models in the, the, wood, the leather, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. This thing has seen very little use or it's unused just been in storage for a long time but um, this leather still seems like it's uh, alive it's not it's not all um, dry and cracking uh, so that's a good sign even if this might be like a, some type of mildew or type of mold um, I can clean this up and it'll be it'll be fine and I pretty much got this to go with that uh, M1905, um, the little uh, backpack or knapsack. Um, it's got the hooks on here for those, the hooks on the, the backpack so that they can hold this up. Um, I don't know, that's pretty cool. If you guys have some questions or you want to see some more information on any of these items, I'll see if I've got some time. I'm working full time. And my wife doesn't like all this old stuff, so I've been trying to do videos either out of the house or, um, you know, late at night or something when I want. But that's it. Have a good one. Bye-bye.